All right, married, hope you're doing well. Uh, everything is looking so much better. The only thing I would say here is you're looking ahead, but it looks like you're looking down at the dirt. I would try to raise your head a little bit, lift that chin, and just focus on keeping your eyes straight ahead just so it helps with your balance more. And I, uh, sometimes you have your shoulders back pretty well. Sometimes they're rolled a little bit forward. But uh, overall, it looks very, very nice. So this was the start of your serpentine, which looked very good. He looks very relaxed at his walk. He's not so stiff like he used to be. So you've done a really good job. And it looks like he's bending pretty well and moving off your leg. So all of that, I don't really have a comment because I think you're doing an excellent job with him. And I love how he's just relaxed and stretching out. There, your eyes look really good when you're looking ahead. So on this turn right here, he looks like he's leaning in a little bit on that left leg. So I would, I would bend him a little bit more and I would use my heel in his side if he tends to lean in. So I think your leg yield is looking good. I think you're doing everything right. It's just practicing and finishing him. But, but right here, sometimes on the uh, turns and when you're concentrating, you're tending to look down. So I would just make sure that you're focusing up anytime you're taking a turn or anytime you're doing like the turn on the forehand. Uh, your circles look good. He's bending nice. He's keeping the same rhythm at his slow walk. So uh, his head position is very nice. So when you're doing the turn on the forehand, I would just make sure you're looking to the left, look in the direction that you want to go. I always try to look ahead of time so they feel with your body which direction you want to go. And your circle left is good. Okay, so this is your shoulder in. I would turn your shoulders a little bit more to the left. And I would kind of look across the diagonal as well. That usually helps a little bit more. So you're kind of moving with your horse. You're more synchronized. So right here, I'd kind of turn my head left. I would turn my shoulders a little to the left and then I would start your shoulder in. And I would do the same thing here. I would turn my head to the right. I would turn my shoulders to the right and then do your shoulder in. And we're coming up on your turn on your forehand in this direction. And I would just recommend lifting your eyes up, turning your head to the left and looking left so he knows exactly where to go. But it's getting there. He's understanding. It's uh, the walking horse's back end sometimes takes a little time to catch up to their brain. So they're getting there. Now your flat walk is very nice. He's got a nice head shake. I think your circles are much better and you're keeping better rhythm. So this is a good speed for his flat walk. I wouldn't go any faster for his flat walk yet. Okay. He might get a little bit more in time, but they're not supposed to be super speedy either. It's a, only supposed to be like three to five miles per hour and most of us can walk three miles per hour ourselves. You've done much better with this head. I like him in this bit much better. He's more relaxed. He has a lot of head shake. This horse doesn't have a lot of overreach, but that's actually a good thing. It's much better for the trail. So I wouldn't want, I don't think he needs any more reach in other words either. So there you slow down just a little bit. But keeping that same rhythm is one of the hardest things to do with these horses since you're just walking and you don't feel much difference. But in time, you'll feel it change more and more. There his head got a little high, but not bad. He's still shaking his head and moving out nicely. So you are doing so well. I'll send you, you know, an arena routine. You can start doing the routine at his flat walk instead of his slower walk. And I just make lots of circles and the leg yields and the serpentines, but I do it all at the flat walk. So you're doing a good job. Just lift your chin a little bit higher, sit a little bit taller to make the picture prettier, but excellent. You've come so far getting that flat walk consistent. Now here he's going up towards his running walk. So you've changed your speed, which you might not have realized. And now we're on to the other side. So this is a good speed for your flat walk. Sun always gets on my computer and messes it up. So again, just sit up a little bit taller, lift your chin a little bit higher. 
and you're starting to bob your head some with his, I do the same. It's hard to stop because we start getting in the rhythm too. But otherwise, I just try to make myself as still as I can since it makes a prettier picture. But again, it looks good. Right there, he has a very nice headset and you're doing good with your stop. And I love how you're squaring him up. Uh, for the people who don't know, that means just making their legs next to each other. So great job. Yep. And he looks very happy most of the time. Now here you're starting to go towards your running walk. And as he got faster, he did do a little pace right there. You did the correct thing. You stopped him. You backed him up a bunch of steps, telling him no, and let's try again. And this will happen as you're going more for speed when they get you know, past what they can do then they'll start falling into that pace or that, you know, if they're a trotty horse, they'll fall into a trot. So right there, it's beautiful. He's doing good. But again, he probably can only hold it so long. And then he goes, well, let me try this pace instead. And you just keep telling him no, like you did. But you're doing great. That is his running walk. And so here, as you go faster, his head's down right there. It looks beautiful. Some of the time it gets a little bit high and it's not as nice but that's normal. So there he got himself a little bit too fast and you did the correct thing. You stopped and backed him up. And that's all a part of disconditioning. You're not doing anything wrong. You're not going too fast. We're just trying to help him stay in that rhythm. So you catch it as soon as you can as he's starting to get faster. And if you feel each time like, oh, he gets so fast and right at that certain time, that's when he goes into the pace. Then I try to keep him below that speed and I start to half halt and kind of set myself up to help him when I feel that they're speeding up. But the other thing I do is take a deep breath in and blow it out as they're speeding up too much because that tells him, hey, buddy, just stay a little bit slower. Now here you slowed back down and there you're back up towards your running walk. That's beautiful. You've really done a fantastic job with him. So for this being your first gated horse, and walking horses are difficult. You did great. You turn on your forehand, it, you're still looking down a little bit there. Yeah. So just keep your eyes up and keep your upper body back as you do it. So here you're probably just starting towards your running walk because there he was a little bit too slow. And that's the end of your I just video. want to make sure it's clear. So this is your running walk. And I would just keep him at that speed for now. Okay. Everyone thinks the running walk is super fast. It's not. It's like five to seven miles per hour. So you don't want to go too much for speed or you're going to go either to, back to pacing, step pacing, or it might be a rack. So for now, you just want to build his strength and get him so he's not falling into the pace. But that was beautiful. And you're doing a really good job. I saw there he started to speed up and you half halt and kind of held him together. And this is your flat walk. So to some people that'll look real similar, but this is a different speed. Okay, but they're not that far apart from each other. But you'll see he doesn't have as much head shake as he does at his running walk. So excellent job, Mary. You're, you're one of the few who has taken this many lessons because some people don't follow through enough and uh, you've made significant improvements. I think you're doing awesome and he's going to be a great, great horse.